So, this is another question related to uh, PN junction diodes connected in circuits. Okay. So, in the given question, there are two diodes D1 and D2 which are connected across a 15 volt voltage source and a 0.5 kilo ohm resistance. Now, it has been given that the two diodes are similar in characteristics, they are similar, they are identical and we have to calculate the currents ID1 and ID2 flowing through diodes D1 and D2. So, I have already uh, said in my previous videos that whenever you come across diodes in a question in any numerical, the first thing which you have to pay attention to is that whether it has been given the type of diode or the cut in voltage related to diode in the question, but here there has been no mention of it. So by default, we have to assume that the two diodes are silicon diodes okay, with cut in voltage of 0.7 volt. It is very important. It has uh, been no mention in the question about the type of diodes and the cut in voltage of the diode. So, you have to assume this. It is the by default condition. Okay. The next thing which we have to uh, take care of is that by looking at the circuit, we cannot say whether the diode is on or off, how it will behave, the behavior of the diode. So, we have to go with assumptions. We can either assume that the diodes, the two diodes are off or we can assume that the two diodes are on. Now, here by looking at the circuit, we can make a rough guess that the two diodes will be on. Why I am saying that? Because the P type end is connected to the positive terminal of the voltage source, both the P type ends of the diode are connected to the positive terminal of the 15 volt voltage source and the N type ends are connected to the negative terminal. I am not sure about it, but we can just have a rough guess in order to save time we can assume that the two diodes are on. We can go wrong with this, but just by looking at the circuit, we can say, we can have a rough guess that the two diodes are on. So, let us go in with that assumption that the two diodes are on and let us draw the equivalent circuit. So, 15 volt, the voltage source, then 0.5 kilo ohm resistance. This is the diode D1 and this is the diode D2. So, here we will replace the point 0.7 voltage. We have to replace this with point 0.7 voltage source. Okay. So, if we replace that, because we have assumed that the diodes are silicon with cut in voltage of 0.7 volt, we have to replace it with 0.7 voltages, 0.7 volt, 0.7 volt. Here it is ID1, here it is ID 2. Now, let us apply KVL in this loop to determine ID 1. Let us name this current as I. So, when we write the KVL equation, we will get 15 minus 0.5 I minus 0.7 is equal to 0. That implies 15 minus 0.7 is equal to 0.5 i. That implies 0.5 i is equal to 14.3. That implies i is equal to 14.3 by 0.5. It is equal to 14.3 by 1 by 2 is equal to 28.6 milliampere. 
28.6 milli ampere. So, this current I is equal to 28.6 milli ampere. Now, it has been given that the two diodes are ideal, they are identical. So, another important concept which we come across here is that when it has it is mentioned in the question that the two diodes are identical, they are similar and are connected in this fashion, the current gets equally divided into those two diodes. So, here the current flowing is 28.6 milli ampere and here there are two diodes which are completely similar, they are identical diode D1 and diode D2, they are identical. It means that they will the currents ID1 and ID2 will be equally divided. So, ID1 will be equal to ID2 will be equal to 28.6 by 2 is equal to 14. 0.3 milli ampere. Okay, so, this is another important concept which we studied. Now, here the current is flowing from P to N in this fashion, diode current is kind of flowing in this fashion and it is positive, it is positive plus 14.3 milli ampere and is flowing in this direction from P to N internally. It means that our assumption that the two diodes are on is correct because the current is positive and is flowing from P to N through the diode in this way. If the current would have been negative minus 14.3 milliampere, then the two diodes would have been off and our assumption would have been wrong. But here our assumption is correct because the current flowing through the diode is positive. So, the important concept to study here or to take note of here is that whenever you come across diodes connected in this fashion and it has mentioned in the question that the two diodes are identical, they are of similar characteristics no matter which diode it is, whether it is silicon or germanium or whatever diode it is, the current gets equally divided through these two diodes. If there would have been three diodes, the current also would have been divided equally. So, it would have been in that case 28.6 by 3. The current flowing through each of the two three diodes would have been 28.6 divided by 3 milliampere. If there have been four diodes, it would have been 28.6 divided by 4, the current flowing through each of the four diodes. Here there are two similar or identical diodes. So, the current flowing through here, the current which was flowing here which is 28.6 milliampere it got divided into two equal parts through the diodes D1 and D2 because they are identical, they are similar in nature. So, we discussed the various important concepts related to PN junction diodes through numerical problems and uh, so far I think we have discussed 4 to 5 numerical problems. So, with concepts associated with them, they were not just problems, but there are various concepts associated with them. So, I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.